Now Freestyle Nation, look at that. Sweet potato pudding by yours truly. Orient Freestyle. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. Nice and moist, guys. Look at the top of it. I'll give you a close-up on it right now. Look at that. Freestyle, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. And I must tell you guys, it smells so Boom. You know it's Warlord representing for Horain Freestyle Adventures. What am I saying? Tell them fix them dentures. Kaboom! Welcome back, Freestyle Nation Wagwan. Gratitude is a must. Guys, I just want to say a big thank you to all my viewers and subscribers, guys. I appreciate y'all. We just hit 1.5k subscribers, guys, and without you guys, it would have been possible. So I just want to extend my gratitude by saying thank you, guys. Just keep on supporting the channel, and it's a new channel by liking the videos, sharing the videos. If you haven't had subscribers yet, guys, you're welcome to join the movement by just hitting the subscription button and join the movement. Now, guys, today we're back in the kitchen, you know what I mean? And it's all about an authentic kind of Jamaican vibe to the guys. As you know guys, I always keep it 100 when I come on to my country. I'm very patriotic when I come on to Jamaica guys. I don't play when I come on to Jamaica. So, wherever I go, like I always keep the culture with me. I never leave the culture. I stay true to the culture. So, today guys, I'm back in the kitchen and it's all about some sweet potato pudding. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're gonna know it today guys. So, just sit back, relax and just watch freestyle. Freestyle of some sweet potato pudding, Jamaican style. Stay tuned. Freestyle Nation, here you have it. Right here, guys, are my setup for my sweet potato pudding. I have my ingredients right here. Um, we have some brown sugar, all purpose flour. We have coconut milk. We have ginger. We have nutmeg. We have vanilla. We have rose almond. And we have almond essence. Um, over here, guys, I have my coconut, dry coconut. And not, last and not least, my sweet potato. Now guys, I will now go ahead and start the preparation for my sweet potato pudding guys. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. Freestyle way. So freestyle, as you can see guys, I've gone ahead and peeled my sweet potato. I will now go ahead and cut them in cubes so that they could fit in the blender. So you don't want to have them too big. I'm going to do them like this, small pieces like this. Cut them in cubes. So you don't want to have them too big in the blender. So I'm doing them in cubes. And to start, if you might have asked me guys how I learned to make sweet potato pudding, it's like, it's like guys, um, stuff like these are, are um, our food I grow up on, you know what I mean, back in Jamaica, sometimes your father will go to the farm, you know what I mean, and he might bring back some sweet potato, you know what I mean, and then around the yard you probably could find a coconut tree, you climb a coconut tree and you find a dry coconut, you know what I mean, and your mother will just use her an unturned fashion, you know what I mean, and um, as for using an unturned fashion guys, if you don't understand what I mean, like I mean, like when you don't have much, Right, but you just use your hands and just try to make things work. You know what I mean? It's like you make something out of nothing. You know what I mean? And my mother would just, would just get the sweet potato and the coconut and, you know what I mean? And let her stuff them. And just fix up something. And like, as for sweet potato guys, sometimes we have it in the in the kitchen for probably like a week sometimes you know I mean? we're going to school and we have a slice of our backpack going to school and you know they lunch that yeah so i always watch my mother you know what i mean i should do stuff like these guys and trust me it has become a passion for me guys i love to cook um i'm not the best of baker but i can bake as i'm about to bake a sweet potato pudding guys and I'm 100% sure it will be good. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy as I do step by step my sweet potato pudding. And guys, again, big thank you to all my viewers and my subscribers, guys. 
I have just hit 1.5k. Um, I must say, guys, just in February, I have I have 14 subscribers, and from February to now, I have 1.5k. And um, without you guys, it couldn't have been possible. And I must say, guys, I really appreciate you all. Just keep on supporting the movement. Now, guys, I have some coconut in the in the thing as well. What I'm going to do now, guys, is cut the coconuts in cubes as well and I'm going to blend the coconut with the sweet potato as you know guys when it comes down to coconut I mean like it's a different vibe when coconut involved in any menu you cook you know what I mean when you know, coconut you get that flavor so I'm now I'm now cubing my coconuts with the sweet potato and I'm gonna blend them together. So here you have it freestyle. After cubing my sweet potato and the coconut, I go ahead and put them in the blender. You don't want to fill up the blender too much. After, I'm gonna use the coconut milk. To blend it. So I'm pouring coconut milk. Now it's time to blend. So first, here you have it. I've now completed down with the blending. Now I will go ahead. So go ahead and give it a two nutmeg. As you know guys, you need nutmeg to be in your, in your pudding for the flavor. So I'm using two nutmeg. Very turn them. Now freestyle, this is the part that you want to get right. Now it's time for me to add my spices. Right here I have my nutmeg. And I'm using one and a half nutmeg. After having my nutmeg, guys, I will go ahead and have my vanilla. So that's for the vanilla. Four teaspoon is good. Then I'll go ahead and add my rose almond. As for the rose almond, guys, I will use probably three teaspoons. One, two, three. Almond essence. I'm gonna use two teaspoon of this. Ginger, I'm gonna use let see, one, two, three teaspoon of ginger. After adding my spices, guys, I will go ahead and add my sugar. As for my sugar, guys, this is the measurement I'm using. I'm not sure if you could see it, but if you can't, I'll put it in the description. The measurement cup I'm using now as for the sugar guys I'm using two cup of sugar so freestyle after adding my my spices and my sugar I will go ahead and mix you want to make sure you mix all the sugar as you can see guys, I'm not using a mixer because I'm keeping it very authentic way. And then I'm, this is how I learn it, and so this is how I'm making it. I'm going to mix, make sure you mix out the sugar, and make sure you mix everything together guys. Yeah, because you want all of the cooking to have the same taste, the same texture, the 
same everything. So freestyle after mixing. Mixing is now complete with the spices and the and the sugar, as you can see right there, guys. mixture right there now it's time guys to add the flour i will also add two cups of sugar of flour on me so that's one cup two cups of sugar also freestyle i will use half teaspoon of baking powder I will go ahead freestyle and add a teaspoon of butter. And butter right there. Now I will go ahead and mix everything together. As you can see guys, the flour is what gives the sweet potato the, the, the texture. You don't want to have the mixture too soft. Now mixing, the texture is now getting thicker and thicker as you can see. You want to make sure you mix the flour out the right way. So freestyle the mixture is almost almost completed. I will now go ahead and add some ray and navy rum to it. I'm going to put like about a um, teaspoon of rum I put two teaspoon of rum and After adding my rum freestyle I'm going to mix again I'm going to incorporate the rum with the entire mixture for yourself freestyle looking nice and lovely almost time to put in the oven my sweet potato pudding guys and i must tell you guys just the mixture of it and it smells so good now freestyle after mixing you want to ensure you taste it have to make sure you have the right taste right texture on the right mix here we go this is it I must tell you guys the mixture is just amazing it feels so good and the texture of it I just can imagine after this come out of the oven guys so just stay tuned guys as I prep my sweet potato pudding freestyle with so good so freestyle the mixture is now completed and this now we to start the baking process as you can see guys i'm using what you call a dutch pot back home in jamaica we call this a dutch pot right i'm not doing a baking thing so i grease my dutch pot guys and i have my own preheat at 350 degree now i'm going to put the mixture in the pot Out. I must tell you guys, this is smelling so good. I mean, like the smell of the spices, the nutmeg, the vanilla, the almond spices, and you know, I mean, the coconut, everything combined together, guys. And I'm telling you, it's a whole vibe going on right here. Make sure everything is level. We want to have it level. We don't want to have it. Have it and go like that. You know what I mean? So what I will do, guys, I will just shake the pot to ensure I get it level. See for myself. I am shaking it. That's it. 
as you can see guys my mixture is now lever in the pot now as i said before guys my oven is now preheated at 350 degrees i'm now going to press it in the oven for like an hour like an hour and um and 15 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes so guys i'll see you back soon when my sweet potato pudding is completed stay tuned I have it freestyle my sweet potato pudding is now in the oven i'm now going to close it then i'll come back in a hour and 20 minutes time when it's completed soon come so freestyle so freestyle after baking a sweet potato pudding guys you want to have that nice little topping on the top right, so this is the way i make my topping right here i have some coconut if I add blend, I mean some dry coconut. I'll go ahead and add some more coconut juice to it for one from the can. Then I'll go ahead and add some vanilla. After adding the vanilla freestyle, I'll go ahead and add a small amount of rose almond. I'll add some almond essence. I'll also go ahead and add like about like about two teaspoons of sugar. Then after that, I'm going to mix everything together. I'm going to mix up the sugar. It's a freestyle. Here you have it guys, after completing with the mixture, the mixture guys, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna spread it on top of the pudding. Here you have it. You need that nice, nice moist on top of your pudding. You're gonna go ahead gonna spread the mixture on top and guys I must tell you guys it's a very tricky thing you have to know what you're doing and to get it the right way here you have it See that freestyle it's coming along nice and lovely I'm gonna apply some more to it Now freestyle, I'm now going to close the oven and I'm going to check back with you guys in a minute time, stay tuned. While closing, you don't want it to shake too much guys because you don't want it to crack too much. Now freestyle, here you have it, it's now time to check back on our sweet potato pudding. As you can see guys on this side, it's very moist. So you want to get some of the liquid and put in the middle part of it so you could have that moist all over your potato pudding now freestyle i think that's about it as you can see for yourself freestyle looking nice and lovely my sweet potato pudding doesn't get any better than this freestyle remember guys like share and comment if you haven't yet subscribed as yet hit the subscription button and join the movement now guys i'm going to turn the oven off and i'm going to leave it to um to cool for probably like about an hour and 15 minutes and i will cut it and i will show you the finished product of my sweet potato pudding 
so come freestyle thanks for watching guys i appreciate you all just keep on supporting the movement by liking the videos sharing the videos if you haven't had subscribers yet the subscription button and join the movement soon come so here you have it now freestyle my sweet potato pudding is now completed as you can see for yourself guys nice and delicious look at the moist on the top guys it's a whole vibe going on right here guys i will now go ahead and cut my sweet potato pudding so stay tuned guys soon come Now Freestyle Nation, look at that, sweet potato pudding by yours truly, Orient Freestyle, guys it doesn't get any better than this, nice and moist guys, look at the top of it, I'll give you a close up on it right now, look at that, Freestyle it doesn't get any better than this guys, and I must tell you guys it smells so good, it tastes so good, I'm about to go in now and take a taste guys, and I'm gonna give you my take on what is going on with my sweet potato pudding. So just stay tuned, freestyle. Watch it. Look at that. Yo. If you know, you know, guys. If you don't know, you know now. Sweet potato pudding by yours truly, Orient Freestyle. Now, freestyle, I'm going to taste the sweet potato pudding. And I'm gonna give you my take on it. Freestyle, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, you could taste the spices. The spices, guys, and not to mention, guys, the coconut. Just give it that vibe, the nutmeg, the vanilla, the cinnamon. Freestyle, I wish I could share with you guys. It is so delicious, guys. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, like, share and comment if you haven't subscribed to the subscription button.